All right, hello here, everybody, and welcome to lesson number one. And as you can see, I've already gone ahead and imported our image um, that we need into Maya and into the viewports. So what we're going to go ahead and do here is just simply block out the base portion of our character, and then we'll go ahead and take the rest of this into, into ZBrush, and we'll go ahead and refine the shape from there, just making it easier on ourselves to go ahead and model. Um, and then we'll just simply do our retopology and everything else. And so let's go ahead and get started here. Um, we're going to go ahead and start off with just a simple polygon cube. Um, and we're going to create the body from this. So let's just go ahead and create our polygon cube here. We're going to start out with our head. Okay. And let's go ahead and just start blocking out here. Let's add a couple subdivisions. We'll go ahead and just add two so it's going to be evenly distributed um, for our body here. And like I said, all we really need here is just the, the basic shape. So we'll go ahead and turn this into vertices and we'll just simply start manipulating this. Okay. And if we go ahead and take a look inside of our perspective viewport, you can see where this is going to be. Um, a little bit square so we just need to go ahead and adjust this as needed so go ahead and bring this down go ahead and bring both of these sides down and in a little bit here this doesn't like I said necessarily have to be you know a perfect shape right now because when we go ahead and take this into ZBrush it's just gonna make it much easier to to go ahead and manipulate so let's go ahead and select these back faces here. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and hit extrude. And then we are just simply going to extrude down. We're definitely going to have to rotate here a little bit. Okay. Go ahead and move this that way. Okay. We'll go ahead and extrude again. And just trying to make sure that we have the, the shape that we want primarily so this isn't necessarily going to be um, what we want and easy to go ahead and smooth out so I want to try to keep the vertices as straight as possible at least on the body um, the head is going to be a little bit different and same with the neck um, we can really just you know try and refine that shape later on um, but if you want and try and keep those uh, vertices as straight as possible you can go ahead and do that let's go ahead and add an edge loop here for the neck um, while I start modeling here I'm gonna go ahead and give a um, big thank you out to Philippe Laurentino for um, actually drawing this concept for us so we'll go ahead and just grab these bottom faces here go ahead and move these down okay go ahead and scale this down a little bit here and try and rotate this just a little bit so that we can match that concept a little bit better go ahead and bring another edge loop in here and you can see where Maya sometimes has that issue of displaying the images as we need and you'll notice that I'm not um, drawing any portion of say like the fins um, the flippers or any of the spikes on the back and I'm actually going to go ahead and do this later inside of ZBrush and it's just going to make it much easier for us to go ahead and do that inside of ZBrush so let's go ahead and take the rest of the body here okay and then we're just simply going to take this top face but before I go ahead and do that I want to go ahead and use the EP curve tool to go ahead and create the tail okay go ahead and hit enter to end that and we'll go ahead and center the pivot on that go ahead and move it and I'm just going to go ahead and select these top faces here to go ahead and create that tail so go ahead and shift select the curve hit extrude so it's going to extrude along the curve and we'll come down here and just up the divisions here to like 11 that should be fine so we're also going to go ahead here and select the 
entire portion of the tail. Okay, we'll go ahead and scale this in so that the tail is going to be a little rounder. Okay, and now that we have the, the general shape of what is going to be this, um, we can probably call this a cartoon plesi plesiosaur. Okay, I want to go ahead and not actually have it um, shaped like this. I want to shape it so it's going to be easier for us to go ahead and have it to, um, be able to be rigged. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all these verts, and I'm just going to go ahead and rotate these so I can get the body straight and flat as I want. Okay, um, I can probably actually rotate this again just so that the neck is at least straight. And we'll just deselect that. And we'll just rotate the body here. Okay. And probably just take the body one here. And just rotate it like this. And we're definitely going to need to go ahead and rotate the tail here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and select these, and we will go ahead and move these tail portions down here a little bit. Okay, and you can see that I messed up there with the tail portion, but that's fine. I can simply just adjust that. That's not necessarily much of an issue. Simply go ahead and rotate rotate these out to be a little straighter. Okay, and we'll just go ahead and grab these bottom ones, rotate these out to be straight. Just making sure that we pull them out so that they're at least straight enough so that we uh, don't necessarily have any issues here. To grab the opposite side there and just trying to sort of even out those vertices. Okay, so we will go ahead and straighten these up. Okay, so now that we have that tail to be pretty straight, we'll just go ahead and rotate out that completely complete thing there. Okay, and we'll go ahead and grab our head here. Just go ahead and pull that up. Okay. And that's basically the neck that I want. And from here we can go ahead and refine this shape inside of ZBrush. Um, but if you want, definitely going to need to remake that tail straight there. Okay. So now that we have our basic shape here inside of Maya. And if you want, you can go ahead and just, you know, refine the neck a little bit more. Um, maybe add one more edge loop here. Oops. On the head and on the neck so that we can at least have a little bit more of a decent shape. That's going to be the, the general shape of our body here. So we'll go ahead and call this um, basically an end for the first lesson. Since we have the, the general shape here uh, for the body of our character, now I know that this doesn't look 100% um, close to what we actually have pictured here, but once we take this inside of in the ZBrush, it's going to be much easier to manipulate that geometry and we can go ahead and really refine that shape as needed. So right now I'm going to go ahead and just select our mesh here and we'll just simply export our selection into our scenes here as an OBJ file and we're just going to call this the um, C creature underscore body okay go ahead and export that so we actually have the the data mesh for that so let's go ahead and also save our scene and we'll just save this as C creature one okay and I'm going to call it an end to this lesson. Then in the next lesson, we'll come back and export our, or uh, import our mesh into ZBrush and begin our work. So um, come on back.